right guys Winter Weasel back today up in the Aurora Fork Motor Nature Trail up in behind the Noah Bud Ogle Cabin up on one of the trails guys I've found something here that I want to take you and show you something special it's something that's only one left in the park and it is a the Noah Bud Ogles tub mill that he built back in the 1800s guys stick over here and show you this it's right over here next to the big old creek Leconte Creek coming off of Leconte, Mount Leconte so guys let's go check this out guys I just wanted to show you the Leconte Creek uh, just down here a little below the tub mill as you can hear that water rushing through the mountain guys that's what the Great Smoky Mountains are not known for is their creeks and streams the sound, it's absolutely gorgeous up here, guys. Yeah, and right, look at that. Well, guys, we'll wander up here to the tub mill and show you that. And guys, that's just amazing. It's something that's been done back in those time frames. Like I said, it is the only one left in the park. All right, guys, we're going to head up to the tub mill. All right, guys, as I told you, we have come up here to the Noah Bud Ogle tub mill. As you can see, the little house building, whatever here, the waterfall behind it, the big creek from Leconte Creek. And you can see the way that they had set it up for the water to feed the tub mill, guys. I'll stake you down here and show you the actual tub mill and a little bit more closer on that system for the water to feed it out of the creek oh. let's go inside the tub mill right here for a minute oh. as you can tell inside tub mill to ground up the corn mill and such I guess Bud had to do something to wind up doing his corn mill from his corn field and corn crops pretty neat guys I mean, it's kind of wild to find something like this all the way back up in here in the mountain just you never even know this without hiking this trail and you check out this old door set up I don't know if it'll actually open and close or not. Yes, it will. Guys, I want you to look at something a minute. See these markings and such on this wood? You can tell how this has been hand carved and made out of the trees and the logs and such here in the forest that they had to cut to make this. And guys, if you'll notice right here by my finger, that's a wood pin. It's a wood nail that they have used to connect this doorway frame to the walls guys every bit of this has been hand done in the 1800s card nailed together and you can tell this door hinge right here it's all been handmade and such and it's every bit been carved I and mean, look at that look at the craftsmanship of that it's just impressive to me uh, the shingles is wood plank shingles for the roof that's been hand made no oh. okay a little bit of a step down there more than I realized guys we'll come down here at the back side bottom of the tub mill as you can see the water would have fed out of this trough this hand carved wood trough Bud probably made himself I'm sure he did as you can tell I'll take you up the stream just a little bit and show you where it went into it but the water would have came down into this right here guys and would have turned this here at the bottom which would have run the tub mill so he could grind up his corn and such 
for cornmeal. Guys, it just, it impresses me the, the workmanship and the craftsmanship that's been done here. Um, like I said, I will show you a little bit more of this uh, water trough that's been made up here where it comes out. And then I'm going to give you a little history lesson on it. Just watch your step, hon. Uh, trying to get you guys over here where I can show you this a little bit better, where this water trough would have hit the creek. Without me going in the creek. So guys, you can see where it ends right there. He's had one that's went across. They've removed it now, the park has, I'm sure. Or Mother Nature herself removed it. You see the water coming out of that pool right there above. And that would have fed this tub mill. And guys, there used to be 13 of these things up Lecon Creek. This is the only one left in the National Park. So guys, I'm gonna give you a little bit of history lesson on this. So if you'll bear with me just a minute, let me get my notes. Okay guys, uh, the Noah Bud Ogle tub mill is the last of 13 tub mills located on Lacan Creek as I was telling you. The mill house is an 11 foot by 11 foot building resting on a mud sill and round logs sports above Lacan Creek. It is about a half a mile from the Noah Bud Ogle cabin. The wheels consist of logs connected with saddle notches. A vertical shaft under the mill house connects the grindstone with a tub wheel turbine. An 80 foot hollow log flume diverts water from Leconte Creek to the turbine. The mill was used to grind corn, making things like cornmeal and grits. So guys, the, the way that what I was telling you about the system for the water to come out of the creek is a log flume, handmade, probably by Bud Ogle itself, I'm sure. Uh, guys, like I said, it's just a, it's an amazing, amazing thing that that could be built by him back in those days with what kind of supplies they were living with, especially back up here in the mountain and all this rock and all this. So guys, that's a little bit of history for you. I hope you enjoyed this and coming along with us today. Uh, if you like the vlog, give it a thumbs up. Also ring that notification bell to keep your notifications going. And also subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so, so far. If you're new here, we do Monday, Wednesday, and Friday uploads go live at 8 a.m. And guys, this is from the Noah Bud Ogle tub mill up in behind the Noah Bud Ogle cabin and farm. So guys, thanks for coming along with us today, and this is Warner Weasel signing off.